Alright, welcome back everyone to another Texan tutorial. I got a tutorial request from FGFGD2. He asked, um, can you make a tutorial on how to change levels in Unity 3D? Uh, actually, finally I made my own scripts for once on how to switch levels. And I'm going to show you that right now. As you can see, there are two scripts for this. One is GUI style script. This, will, uh, this script tells how the GUI will look like, which means how the message box looks like, how the button looks like, the position, and what the functions of the buttons are. And the other one is display GUI, which means when to dis when to enable this GUI style script, which means when to sh uh, when to show that message box. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Now you can see there's a variable target right here. Now what that means, the distance. Well, I've added like this, the distance between the target. Now I'm gonna make the water the target. So the distance between the water and the player is less than 25 it should enable the script whereas vice versa if the distance between the water or target and the player is more than 25 it will disable that script so there's no there's no there's no need for a no button actually for this so it's gonna be a little bit easier for us Alright, so let's begin with this. Okay, so um, let's add the two scripts to the player, or the first person controller. Oh wait, I think I've already added it. Yeah, I've already added it, so just add both of them to the player. And now, we're gonna add the target. So, okay, I've already added it, but add, the, uh, add whatever the target you want it to be. I'm gonna make the uh, water the target, so just drag it in there, or whatever the game object it is. If you move towards what is the object it is it should show the message box but anyways uh... one last thing let's go to the GUI star script it asks if GUI button which means it will make a button which says yeah oh wait one thing now you can change whatever the ones that are in purple which is the title so it asks do you want to switch the level you can change that and the yeah yeah you can change that as well so anyways it's asking if wha whatever the button you created called yeah here are the positions oh yeah here if you want to change the positions I'll just explain it quickly the first one is this this part is where it is placed on the x axis so uh, the greater the number the more it will move to the right and if it's a negative number it will move to the left and vice versa for the y axis which is the next one which means it is if it is, if the number is negative it will move downwards and then the, if, if the number is okay positive then it should move up and the next two are scaling options in the x axis and the y axis okay and then once you do that now it's asking if yada 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 if you click that button it should load up level one. Now it says one here, but it's actually supposed to be level two. Now I'll tell you why. Okay. Let me just uh, save the script. Okay. Now let's go to build settings, which is on file and build settings. Let me just cancel that. Okay, so it asks what scenes to build. Now this is your first level, test.unity, but it says level zero over here. Now this is your first level but unfortunately the second level does not exist here yet so that's why we need to add it into our build setting so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open the second level which is this one and then what we're gonna do go to build settings again and click add current and now it should add the second level as level one okay now we'll go back to that script as and it says application dot load level one now one means right here is the second level so that means if you click the button it should show level one which means that it is your second level and it will load your second level okay and if you want to add a third level do the same thing get your third level or whatever uh, load up your third level in the editor 
view I click add current and it should display level 2 right here okay then go to your script and application .load level 2 which means it will load up the third level and so on okay so I think we're done with that I guess and uh, since we're done let's click play and now we're in this beautiful scenery whatever it is and if we go and if we move towards the water it should ask do you want to go to the next level you can obviously click yeah but why don't we need a no button here's what will happen if I move away from it it disappears okay so let's move towards it let's click yeah and now we're in our second level okay so that's about it hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you did why don't you subscribe for more so thanks for watching and have a great day